Hello everyone, this is Oliver Plays MC. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we have a quick video about why cauldrons are quite a cool item on Minecraft Bedrock. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, one more thing we're also going to go over in this video is a common misconception about tipped arrows and why tipped arrows are a lot more practical on Minecraft Bedrock. So with that said, let's get right into this video. So we're going to head up over here, the little castle. Looks like I'm going to have to run all the way around to our cauldrons. Now, the first cool thing about cauldrons uh, on Minecraft Bedrock Edition is cauldrons is how you... Uh, the, the cauldron is what you use to dye items in Minecraft. So, um, for example, leather armor for the player. You add water to the cauldron, and then you're going to add your selected dye. And I'm going to use magenta, for example and I can dye these pieces. And one other thing you can do with cauldrons for dyeing in Bedrock that's really cool is you can make any combination of colors. So if I wanna take yellow and add it to this magenta, I can do that and make kind of this weird puke looking color. Um, but that's what you can do with bed with dyeing things on Bedrock. So it's quite cool. Uh, it also works for leather horse armor. So um, I can dye this horse armor the color of that uh, mixture that I made. And if I add another dye to it, for example, green dye, let's say, um, it's going to change that color again. So you can have an almost, uh, it's functionally infinite, but it's actually not technically infinite, uh, number of dye combinations um, for your leather horse armor and player horse armor in Bedrock. So I may as well go ahead and put these on. Um, and, and so that's the first really cool um, perk about cauldrons and dying in Bedrock Edition, it, there's more, I would say almost more combinations of colors or it, it's done in a, in a more interesting way, I would say. Um, so moving on to the second thing you can do with cauldrons is this is exclusive to Bedrock. You can fill um, cauldrons with potions. Um, and I'm not sure why it's sizzled there because usually, okay, that seems to be some a part of a bug, but um, typically what happen is if you dilute the potion with any other sub liquid substance, whether it be water or another potion, it'll kind of sizzle away. I don't, I, it wasn't supposed to sizzle away. Um, when I put the two potions of poison in there, that, that must've been a glitch. Um, but it will sizzle away. And, um, for those wondering, uh, I should have, I could have gone over this when I had the potions in the cauldron, but if you stand in the the uh, potion-filled cauldron, you'd not get the potion effect of that cauldron. I think that'd be a really cool touch, but it doesn't happen, fortunately. And you do get the cool bubble effects, as you saw, when you have the, a potion in a cauldron. And then the third and final thing that is kind of a, as kind of a continuation of what I was going over um, previously with the potion in a cauldron is that if you add potions to cauldrons, and this is where I would say um, tipped arrows in Minecraft Bedrock are way, way better than they are in Java because you can actually make tipped arrows. This is a common misconception. Um, people think that, obviously on Java, when the combat update came out and introduced tipped arrows, you had to craft arrows with a lingering potion to get the tipped arrows. And however, in Bedrock, uh, the system is different. I actually didn't know this until just recently, but you can you can make tipped arrows as long as you put potions, a, a certain potion in a cauldron, and you um, left trigger or left click or wh whatever device you may be on, whether it be computer or mobile um, or console, and you just immediately, you can tip the arrows, so now I have t arrows of invisibility, simply by dipping them in the cauldron with one click of a button. So, like I said, typically in Java, this is an item that you can, you have to kill the ender dragon, essentially, to uh, get this item, and to to get these items to get this tipped arrow whereas on bedrock you can just fill a cauldron and tip the arrow and you're good to go tipped arrows are that means tipped arrows are way more practical they just are they require so many less resources so as you can see i'm just shooting these villa this, the cat and i shot that villager i'm just making them invisible because i can have tipped arrows because i'm on bedrock and it's easy to get tipped arrows so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video about cauldrons and that misconception that a lot of people don't know about with tipped arrows. Um, my name's Oliver Plays MC. I'll see you guys in a new video pretty soon. And uh, yeah, see you later.